What up, YouTube? It's your boy. It's Carter TV. You know I'm back with another story. You know I'm back with another story. Listen, I want to appreciate all the people that watch, subscribe to my channel, uh, comment on my videos. I really appreciate it. You know I love I love the support and everything. Each from one of y'all, you know. Um, but this is my my itch. I guess I could tell good ass stories. You know what I'm saying? So I'm gonna get it right into it with y'all. Excuse me, I'm on my way to work. Excuse me, I'm on my way to work. But this story is about a girl named Jessica I met over the summertime. And her, her basically, her story is she had a toxic ass ex. Like, toxic ass ex. So, I met Jessica in Brooklyn at a block party. I was on my, my best friend's block. I was on his grandmother's block where, you know, they was throwing a block party. And her and her friend, well, her friend who lived on the block, you know, they just what happened to walk by us that particular time. Um, she walked by me because I was standing outside and I was standing, you know, in front of my boy's grandmother crib waiting for him to come back outside. Her and her friend walked by. I don't know what was exchanged. I don't know what words was exchanged before they got crossed me. But something had sparked where she said something and I thought she said it to me. You know, I thought she said something to me or whatever. And I responded, I was like, oh, Excuse me, you said something to me? She was like, oh, no, but, you know, that's when the conversation sparked from then. Like, she was like, nah, I ain't say nothing to you. Why? Why? You thought I said something to you? And I was like, I, yeah, I thought you said that's why I gave you an answer. She was like, nah, you want, she, then she was like, you know, you want me to say something to you? She basically was just getting in tune with the conversation. So we spoke for about a good two minutes before her friend was like, yo, come on, I got to go back to the crib, back to the crib, right? About a good 30 minutes later, good 30 minutes later my boy me and my boy is outside we chilling um we chopping it up about what we gonna do after this block party's over her and her friends come back now this time she come back with three more friends so it's actually five of them now it's actually five of them now and you know she stopped by she talking to me again she's like you know what's up uh, uh, what y'all getting into you know what's your name where you from you know we getting all we getting to the nitty gritty details and all of that about each other um you know she basically asked me you got a girlfriend or somebody I, i'm like nah not at the time at the time no i did um she was like you know i'm out here for the summertime and i'm just trying to enjoy the summertime not trying to get into no drama she forgot the part where she had the toxic with the uh, the toxic ex she she left that part completely out you feel me so I'm like, all right, that's what's up. Like, I ain't really dealing with nobody. I'm chilling. Blah, I say blah. She like, oh, that's what's up. Now, at the time I met her, I had to be about 23 to 24 years old, around the age. She was uh, 21. She was 21. She was like, I'm in school. I'm just out here for the summertime. Blah, I say blah. So I'm like, oh, that's what's up. That's what's up. So I'm like, what school you go to? She like, I go to UCLA. I'm like, so that's what's up. I'm like, what's your major? She like, I'm going to be a lawyer. She like, I'm going, I'm basically, she's going to be a lawyer. She's going to like, uh, she's going for criminal justice and all that, you know. And I'm like, oh, that's what's up. That's what's up. So I'm like, you know, what, what semester are you in? She like, I'm in my second semester. My, this girl's fine. Brown skin. She had to be about five, six. She had nice silky hair. She was a slim dick, John. Nice little slim dick. She was one of those slim thicks where she had more hips and ass and she had little titties, you know what I'm saying? She had that type of body. I was like, she's nice, she's nice. Nice little slim thick thing. Nice little slim thick, right? You know, her friends or whatever, whatever. She she wasn't the prettiest out the group, but she was more she was more like more the outgoing out the group. You know what I mean? Like she was like the one who could basically go up to a group of dudes and chop it up with them and you know keep it keep it keep it sexy keep it classy she wasn't she, i didn't get no thought vibes from her i ain't get no thought vibes from shorty so i was like oh that's what's up so her friend like a good 10 minutes into the conversation you know i'm having with her and her other friend that she walked by with her other friend she walked by with her name was um her name was jasmine her name was jasmine so me and her chopping it up too. She's chopping up with us. So it's actually me, her, my man's, and Yasmin chopping up. All the other three girls is just talking about something else. So her other friend, 
Now her other friend, she was one of the, the girls out the group that was like, she she. Let me say this: she was one of the girls that you had to take one for the team type of girl. She was one of those. If y'all understand what that means, especially the fellas, y'all already know what time it is. She was one of those, and plus, she was one of the jealous. She was one of the top jealous girls I ever met in my life. Like. You could tell she had jealousy written all over her. So she goes, so this is what we doing all day. We stand on this block, ain't shit going on. They ain't really playing no music. She was in her feelings. And her friend was just like, yo, what's, what's good with you? We just got here. Like, we chilling. Like, people, they about to start playing music. Mind you, the block wasn't all that. The block was like more of the old focus type of block. Like, a lot of the old people lived on that block. So, you know, a lot of the music that they was playing was old music it was like you know that really cookout music you know what i'm saying so it wasn't really the the reggae music when you catch your little dubs and all that so it wasn't that type of party so mind you when my man's like yo you know my grandma my grand my man's was like yo my grandmother didn't finish cooking you trying to get a plate bro so i'm like yeah so it was only right that he offered to them to the two girls and you know the big girl was like i, I want a plate too she ain't gonna turn down no food though Bet you she gonna turn down on food. So she didn't turn down the food, so we all gotta play with each other. Uh, uh, uh. Then she like, oh, I know where another block at, where it's lit right now. They just went live. She's basically trying to leave the block. She didn't want to stay there. And from what from what I got from it, she was low key trying to catch up to a nigga that she liked. That's what it was. And her friend was telling me she was like, yo, she's trying to catch up to this one nigga that she liked. He just went live and all that, but. She was like, the nigga just basically used her. Cause the girl got money. She got money, but she's not attractive looking. So he, she's like, she basically trying to use her for her money type shit. And low key, you know, they did they did some things where he got what he wanted, then left her wish with nothing. So basically, she was like, he caught the neck and then told her she had the lead type shit, and she still be chasing this thing. So I'm like, what kind of shit she on? Whatever. So she was like, oh, let's go to this block, let's go to this block. The girls was like, nah, we don't want to go over there. It's mixy over there, it's mixy over there. She's like, come on, y'all boring, y'all boring. So the girl threw a shot. She go, oh, she go, Troy's over there. She kind of mentioned the nigga Troy like at least a few times in the past hour. So I'm like, so the girl gave her the look. The girl I'm talking to, Jessica, she looked at her like, she gave her that look like, bitch, if you don't shut the fuck up, like, so she said it and the girl kind of her mood kind of her, her mood kind of changed her mood kind of changed like and she gave yasmin to look like this bitch she fucking up the vibes right now so and when she said that i'm talking to the girl she kind of like faded from the conversation a little bit and kind of went down i'm like yo you good she like yeah i'm good she like yo i'm gonna go to the store real quick i'm gonna go to the store real quick no, before she said that, she was like, y'all got roll up because they smoke weed. They smoke. So they y'all got roll up. My man's was like, nah, I gotta go to the store and get some actually. I gotta go get some papers and all that. So he she was like, oh come on, let's go to the store, let's go to the store. I was like, yeah, bro, I'm gonna stay right here. I'm gonna stay right here. I'm still eating my food. I'm still eating. So he's like, alright, bro, I'll be right back. So they went to the store, came back. Her friend Yasmin stayed behind was basically telling me, like, yo, the girl who keep mentioning Troy, basically that's that's just that's Jessica's ex. And they're very toxic like well he's very toxic let me say this he's very toxic and if he can find out where she's at he'll pop up and basically he likes to start shit where he could run a nigga off and he don't really want nobody dealing with her but he want to out go out here and do him so i'm like that sounds familiar i know a lot of people that can relate to that the toxic ex who don't want you know the person you talking to to move on but they gonna move on themselves. I know a lot of y'all can relate to that. You know, a lot of y'all probably got a toxic ex like that in your lives. Maybe now, or maybe back then. But that's just how the situation was with her. So, the fat girl, you know, the girl that's not attractive. Let me not call her fat, but the girl that's not attractive. She low key tells the boy she's talking to, who also is friend with Troy, where she's at. And. I guess Troy asked her, like, yo, who with you? And she basically told him who was with him. So, within 30, with 45 minutes later, they come back. No, not not they come back, but they come back from the store five minutes later. So the girl who's not trying to hype, she like, oh, he about to pull up. Uh, uh. 
So they're like, who about to pull up? She's like, oh, my little boo, about to come up. He about to pull up. So they all faces just turn like, oh, this nigga's coming. Oh, my God. Now she's about to be on some big ride. So, you know, they all faces turn and all this and all that. So I'm just like, you got good? She's like, yeah. So me and her chopping up, we exchange phone numbers just in case if they decided to leave when this nigga pulls up. So uh, her friend asked me to go back to her crib because her, her mother said she needed something from her, needed help from her for something, something small. So she leaves. Jessica stay. Me and her Jessica chopping it up. Me and her talking. Me and her getting real acquainted. She getting comfortable. She feeling the kid. You feel me? She feeling the kid. We she feeling the vibes. We chilling. We macking. My man's like, yo, we about to go to this party later tonight. So I, I told her before she left, you know, it's a party late night. So she's like, oh, let me get your number. So, so the nigga, the, the girl who's not attractive, her boot pull up. He pull up with, with two niggas. And it happens to be one of them was Jessica's ex, Troy. So they pull up. They park. The three girls walk down there to them. Troy's coming. I'm like, she, her face, just her, her vibe completely shut down. And was just like, what the fuck is this? You know that that little TikTok video? What the fuck is that? Like her face went like that. What the fuck is that? And she looked like, and I'm like, oh shit, oh shit. She basically looked like. I thought the cops was coming for me. I'm like, what the fuck is the fuck is going on? But anyway, she was like, he pulls up. So it's us three talking. Me, my man's, and Jessica. We just chopping up, talking regular shit. Just talking, bro. Like, she's standing up. My man's sitting down. I'm standing up. And, you know, we talking. So, he pull up. He like, what up, y'all? So, I'm, you know, you know, look. She like, come here, babe. Let me talk to you. I'm like, hey. You know, my face, me and my man's looked at each other like, hey. She like, yo, I'm not doing this with you right now. 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 So he's like, nah, come here, let me talk to you, let me talk to you, let me talk to you. He's starting to get, like, he's pulling on her and shit, he's pulling on her shit. Let me talk to you, let me talk to you. Come here, excuse me, y'all, let me talk to my girl, let me talk to my girl. So I'm like, girl? Your girl? I'm like, oh, well, all right. She like, yo, he's not my man. Then he kind of, like, grabs her by her face, like, yo, come the fuck here. You see me talking to you, right? I'm like, yo, boy, boy. That may be your girl, but keep that shit to a minimum, bro. There's people out here, bro. He's like, mind your fucking business. I was like, yo, boy, you're not in the right predicament to be telling niggas mind their fucking business. You came to us. You came to us with that hot shit. So I'm getting real physical with the nigga. Like, yo, you came over here with that hot shit, boy. My man, like, yo, word, that ass. So my man's, his people starting to come outside. You know, his cousins and shit. One of his cousins is blood. One of his cousins is blood or whatever, whatever. So he's coming outside. He's like, yo, cuz, oh, it's a problem. It's a problem. I'm like, oh, shit. It's a problem. He's like, nah, cuz, oh, like, niggas out here wilding. Niggas out here wilding, grabbing on girls. He's like, yo, boy, it's a problem. He's like, nah, it ain't no problem, fam. It ain't no problem, fam. It ain't no problem, fam. I'm just trying to get my girl to come on. I'm just trying to get my girl to come on, right? He like, yo, she said she don't want to go. Let that shit go. Let that shit go. Boy, you causing problems over here. There's people over here, bro. Like, this family, bro. Like, you got to move with that. You got to move with that. So, boy, like, yo, y'all niggas mind y'all bending my she, like, He like, yo, come on. You embarrassing me. Come on. You embarrassing me. You embarrassing me. Come on. She like, I'm not trying to go with you. Like, leave me alone. I'm not trying to go with you. Leave me alone. Uh-uh-uh. So, I'm like, oh, my God. This shit getting crazy. So, basically, he ended up leaving. And he ended up texting her phone crazy. Like, she like, this is ridiculous. I bet you that girl called him over here. So the big girl looking down the block, she looking like, yeah, it's time to go now. So she was like, yo, I'm going to catch you later because I don't want to cause no issues with you and your family. She's like, yo, text me the location of the party and I'm pulling up. I'm pulling up. So I'm like, all right, bet. So she ended up coming to the party that night, ended up, I guess, leaving him, fake leaving him. Well, that that was just one episode of them being toxic, right? So she ended up coming to the party, chopping it up with us and all that. And um, she had a good time. You know what I'm saying? She linked with us. We was dubbing and all that. She was on me. She was getting tipsy. She was on the kid. So I'm like, yo, before this go any further, like you got a whole nigga and everything. She like, nah, but he not my nigga. You see, I'm trying to get on from them, trying to move on. This is what I'm trying to tell you. I'm like, you could have at least told me you had a toxic nigga. Like this situation could have went a little better. She like, my fault on that, my fault. 
I'm sorry, I'm sorry, but the girl called him over there. That's basically what it was. She wanted to dip off for some bullshit. Uh, uh, uh. So I'm like, all right, boom. The following week, we linked up again. I don't know how this nigga got her location, but he popped up at us. We was in the Bronx. We went to, uh, we was in the Bronx. We was chilling in the Bronx. And we went out. We went out to eat, whatever. And we also went to I Fly, I Fly shit type shit. So it's kind of like a little date situation. Went out to eat. The nigga popped up at BBQ's, bro. He popped up at BBQ's, bro. Making a scene at the entrance. Like, yo, my girl in there, my girl in there, my girl in there. Ah, 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 ah. Making a scene. So the whole time he making a scene, we still eating and then we about to leave. She peeps the nigga. He like, come here. Come the fuck here. Ah, ah come the fuck here. I'm like, oh my fucking God. He didn't see me. I guess he didn't see who she with. She's like, you on a fucking date? You on a fucking date? All the ragtag, your stupid ass. Because I had walked off. I guess I paid the bill. And he kind of like grabbed her up. So I'm like, yo, where the fuck she go? And then the one girl's like, yo, I think some nigga just grabbed your shorty out of here. I'm like, oh, not again. Not again. So I go outside. He rag tagging her up. Like, yo, what the fuck is you doing? Fuck is you got going on? Ah, ah. You out here on fucking dates? Yo ass supposed to be home with the kids. I'm like, yo, he making a scene like that. She like, I don't even got fucking kids with your stupid ass. Get the fuck off me. You making a fucking scene. You not even my boyfriend. Get out of here. So she finally see me come outside. I'm like, yo, what's good? Like, she says, this nigga, this a nigga you want to date with? Nigga, I'll shoot. Now he trying to get, he trying to scare me off. I noticed it. He trying to intimidate me. And I'm like, boy, get out of my face with this. Get out of my face with this. Like, we're not about to do this. We're not about to do this. So he trying to basically scare me off. And it's not working for him. He's like, yo, get the fuck out of here. It's my girl. You out here trying to go on dates with all that. Move, nigga, before I shoot you. Nigga don't got no hammer on him. Because if nigga had the hammer, he'll show you that he got the burn on him. He ain't do none of that. He was just trying to intimidate me. And she noticed I wasn't going for it. And he kind of like, yo. And I'm like, yo, come on. Like, I grab her by her hand. I'm like, yo, come on, we leaving. He like, no, she ain't going no fucking way. So when he tried to grab for her, I grabbed him and I twisted his wrist. Boom. The nigga like, ah, get off my shit. Brung the nigga down to one knee. He like, yo, get off my shit. I'm like, yo, look at me. I'm intimidating him now. I'm like, yo, boy, look at me. She ain't going back with you. This is over. Leave her the fuck alone. She moving on. Get the fuck up out of here. So it's people looking around now. He like, get the fuck off me. Fuck off me. This bitch going with me. This bitch going with me. He like, ah, mind you. He's still talking while I got him. He like, ah, get the fuck off me. When I let your ass go, walk the other way, bro. Walk the other way, bro. So the nigga like, get off me. Get off me. Get off me. Ah, get off me. He, he asked, ah, get off me. I'm like, yo, Jess, start walking the other way. So she like, she kind of looks scared, like, start walking the other way. So she started tiptoeing. Then she stopped. She was like, I'm going to just go with him. I'm going to just go with him. I'm like, yo, you dead ass? Like, you dead ass? She like, I'm going to just go with him. I'm going to just go with him. I'm going to just go with him. So I'm like, all right, whatever. And I let the boy go, and he kind of, like, fell back. He's like, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, right? So I'm like, wow, that's for some toxic shit. So a few days later, she hit me up, like, I'm sorry about that. It's just I don't want to go through the bullshit of him. And I said, what happened when you left? Like, basically, I'm just like, what happened when you left? She's like, we basically got into it. We ended up fighting. He blacked my eye. I'm like, and you still went with the nigga, like, after I just defended you, like, you still went with the nigga and all that, I'm just like, whatever. So she ended up hitting me the following week after that, chopping it up, chopping it up. She basically got away from him because of her mother. She was like, you can't come back in the house if you're still dealing with that man. So basically, her mother gave her ultimatum. So she didn't, she blocked the nigga number. She blocked him everything. And, you know, her father wasn't going for it either because her father, basically, it was a video going around of her. And the boy arguing went on social media. And they got caught arguing and all that. And the father got caught wind of it and was like, if you're still talking to him, you can't come back to the house or whatever the situation was. So she ended up talking to me that following week. And it's just like she had an ultimatum. She had to give up the boy. Also, my family was just like not fucking dealing with me. So for that, for the two weeks, you know, this is going into August, you know, her time to go back to school is almost up. And me and her was just clicking up. Like, I was chilling with her, like, her past two weeks. Uh, her mother was, you know, I met her moms. 
My mom basically like, oh my God, you bring home a different dude. He's very good looking. He's very charming. Da 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 da. So she was like, yeah, that's a dude I've been running around with. Uh uh. And she was like, oh my God, it's finally a good look. Uh -huh. You know, you know your boy end up hitting that, whatever, whatever. But her story ends where, you know, I didn't see her her last day. Let me wrap this up because I got to go to clock in for work. But her story ends. And there's a part, I'm going to do a part two to her because she actually comes back. She comes back. But the summer end for us on the last day and boy kind of caught wind of her leaving. I guess the one girl that didn't like her, they was all in the group chat. And the one girl, she was telling the group chat, like, I'm getting ready to go to school tomorrow. Uh -uh. And she's basically telling them that she was seeing me. And, you know, the one girl that didn't like her was jealous of her, told, you know, told her boyfriend, Troy. And Troy pulled up to the crib and was ready to, ready to, you know, fight her even in front of her family. So I'm just like, that's how that ended during the summertime. I'm going to tell you all about part two later on today.